To get started, you will need the LipoFilter Harvest Canister, a stainless steel stand and clamp. Inside each canister box, you will find sterile transition tubing and a Tumi syringe. You will also find the fat evacuation tube and the vacuum manifold. After sterilizing, attach the stand to your table or mayo stand, whichever you prefer, using the table clamp. Remove the canister from the sterile pouch after carefully reading the instruction manual. First, attach the fat evacuation tube to the stem on the bottom of the canister. Put it on with a slight twisting motion. A good tip is to dip it into sterile saline as it goes on a little easier. Make sure it is all the way up and secure. Place canister into stand with the gradient forward so it can be easily seen. Please note the stop indicator. Though this is a three liter canister, you should never fill it past the stop mark. For proper function, you need to leave some capacity in the canister. Make sure the pinch clamp is oriented properly and securely closed. Preload the canister with a minimum of 500 cc's of sterile saline or lactated ringers. We recommend 7 to 800, but never less than 500 cc's. This cushions the fat coming in and gives it a nice wash. Do not use sterile water, as this will damage your fat cells. Attach the manifold. Place the open tube onto the port labeled EVAC. You will see it lines up with the evacuation tube that runs through the filter. Secure the center cap. Attach the other tube of the manifold to the side port of the canister marked clamp. It is important that the white pinch clamp remain open during the harvesting process. Only close it to drain the fluid. Attach the sterile transition tubing to the top connector on the manifold. Connect the opposite end to the waste canister. The waste canister connects to your aspirator. Connect your harvest tubing to the LiPo port. This port is designed to work with your PAL tubing or conventional tubing. Connect the other end to your PAL handpiece or your manual cannula. The next step is very important. You are going to set your harvesting vacuum level. First crimp your harvest tubing. This closes the system. With your vacuum level turned to the lowest setting, turn on your aspirator and bring the vacuum level up to between 15 and 20 inches of mercury. You are now ready to harvest. As you harvest, you will see that as soon as the fat enters the canister, it begins to separate and is washed by the preloaded fluids. Live cells rise immediately and the washing separating process begins. To drain fluid and make more room for fat, first remove the cannula from the patient and make sure the lipo tube is unobstructed. Next, close the white pinch clamp on the manifold. You will begin to see the fluid flow down through the separator into the waste canister. You will notice that the fluid in the upper chamber will continue to flow down into the evacuated bilge. This is normal. Since we are just trying to get more room, you do not want to drain the fluid all the way down. So stop when the fat level reaches the 800 milliliter mark. Simply reopen the pinch clamp and the fluid flow will stop. After you have harvested all the fat you need, allow the tissue to set undisturbed until clear separation is noted. This generally takes 12 to 15 minutes. It may take longer if there is a lot of blood in the tissue. For the final drainage, close the pinch clamp and drain the fluid. When the fat reaches the funnel, open the white pinch clamp and turn off the aspirator. This is important so you do not have a vacuum block when you extract the fat. To extract the fat, connect the Tumi syringe to the fat evacuation tube. Push the syringe on until you feel it click. Open the lower pinch clamp and draw out the residual fluid that remains in the stem and discard. Don't forget to close the pinch clamp again before removing the syringe. 
Reattach the Tumi syringe, open the pinch clamp, and draw out the fat. 